Hi folks, Bob Dale for Southern Remarketing in Jackson, Mississippi where we sell motorhomes, sell lots and lots of them. Last year or two we've been selling lots of, of, of diesel trucks, all four-wheel drives and that kind of thing are big doolies because A, they're such values and B, because our customers like them a lot. We sold lots and lots of them. I imagine 250, 300 of them by now. Some of them just stand out. Some are, you know, kind of generic and they're work trucks, this and that. And then we've sold lots of King Ranches. And, but every once in a while, one just stands out. And if we're going to sell a truck today that's like that. Gosh, I like it a lot. I think you're going to like it a lot. I'm going to nitpick this truck. So. Watch what you're buying, watch the video. This is a really super nice truck. I swear we like it a lot, I think you will too. It's a 2004 Ford F-250. It's a Lariat package, folks. It's a four-door truck. It is a turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. Has every available option. It rides and drives just like it's supposed to. No issues, no issues at all. It rides tight. There's no rattles and squeaks. It is just a good looking truck. Got a brand new windshield in it. We've updated the oil pump. We've changed the injectors. We've done all the things that we needed to do to this truck so that you can buy it. When you buy it, you can pick it up and head wherever you want to go. We're full of the knowledge that you'll make it okay. I, I, I wouldn't hesitate to get in this truck and go anywhere. It's that kind of truck. But most importantly, it's got this big, good-looking appearance to it. So let me show it to you here. Someone put on this truck a, I guess, did they have a winch on it, or was it just It's set up for a winch. It's the big ranch hand bumper that's, that's got covered high, in that bed liner material, so it won't scratch or anything. That's a high-dollar expensive paper, <coughs> folks. And I know that was, uh, 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 what is the word for that when used to, a high-dollar expensive. Anyway, it's an expensive bumper. It's got a great set of matching tires on it, folks. These are expensive tires. They're nitrogen filled. Nittos. Uh, come on, let's look at this truck. I told you it's got a brand new windshield in it. No pecs and all that. Look at the paint. Now, we're about to have another historic freeze here. We're get, trying to get this done before the ice storm hits. And it's raining here, but it doesn't have anything to do with how beautiful this paintwork is on this truck. You can see, what is this, a two, a four it's inch about lift? A four or six inch lift. Got the uh, Skyjacker shocks. Um, now I will say, you, you can't see it folks, and like I say, I was gonna mint pick this truck. Right, oh, there's a little, there's a little ding right here behind this bumper. You can't see it, but it's there. Uh, I'm gonna open this truck up and show it. Keyless entry, it's a Lariat. Uh, just beautiful on the inside. Windows, door locks, tilt, cruise, stereo, uh, power on both sides, seats work. Look at the carpet. The headliner is perfect. It's a non-smoker's truck. Look at the carpet, son. The carpet's beautiful. It, these are the original seats that came in it. You can see that. There's just a little bit of wear here on the side of the seat. Not enough to No hurt tears, anything. no holes. Not enough to, that you'd want to mess with it and insert it. Uh, look at this back seat. Carpets are perfect. The leather is beautiful. Uh, the paint is just beautiful. I mean, it is pretty. FX4 off-road. It's a Mississippi truck. You can see here it's got no rust. Now, let me tell you, before you cut, it does not have a spare. It doesn't have a spare, and we can't we, it, it, it won't have one. Dan. You can't run a spare because these are oversized tires. They're taller than stock, and the expensive and set of wheels. an equivalent size tire will not fit in the spare tire well. And if you were to have a flat and put a stock spare tire on it, it would be sitting about three inches lower. And not only would it be dangerous to drive like that, but you would burn out the clutches and the limited slip differentials trying to, with them trying to correct for the difference in wheel speed between the taller and shorter tires. So if you get a flat, you just gonna have to fix your tire because when you got the big tires like this, you can't run a spare. We're going to all that trouble to explain people because we are so conscientious about feedback and, and, and you know, people will come and they'll look at our things, they'll buy them and then they go, oh, what about this, what about that? You did, I mean, a video to explain every little peck and everything on with these trucks would take two hours, but I'm going to do my best. That's the reason we went over that spare tire. The, 
tank's good. Beautiful. This is just buffing compound. Yeah, that's wax where they cleaned it up. That's all. Lights all work. Everything's perfect. You see here, you can look up inside the wheel wells. Absolutely no rust is starting to really rain here. As I said a moment ago, that is an expensive set of wheels on this thing, folks. Yep, they're uh, got the big of, tires. These tires are probably 80%. Uh, they're about $9,000 for that set of tires. <laughs> Look back here. Wheels are about 28000 28000 that's about what I thought. If you go price one of these trucks new, you think that. Got nurse bars, look here, power on both sides. Everything works. <coughs> uh, got your original books. This was not a work truck. You can look in here, there's no dust and mud and all that. Somebody just drove, it's only got 170,000 miles. Uh, as I told you, we changed the injectors. Uh, that lift kit, it just makes it look good. It stands up big, it doesn't ride like, you know, it doesn't wobble around going down the road, it rides. Rides good and clean and tight. This bumper, I don't know what it costs. Dan's gonna fifty nine hundred. It cost a lot of money and it looks good on the truck. I'm gonna get out of the rain. It's starting to freeze here. It is a 2004, folks. A great truck. My name's Bob Dale. My phone number is 601 218 1223. 601 218 1223. You got a question about this truck? Give me a call. If you want to make an offer and tell me what do you want to give for the truck, go ahead and give me a call. We like it's not, we'll work it out. Seems like every time someone does, we sell it, and uh, because we're just real easy to get along with. And these trucks are a bargain. But it's a 2004 F-250 turbo diesel, a four-door truck, an FX4 four-wheel drive. It is a Lariat. Has all the equipment in it. Windows, door locks, tilt and cruise. You saw the leather. Look at the paint work, it's just beautiful. Brand new windshield sitting on a matching set of tires, nitrogen filled, high dollar set of wheels, a good looking truck. If you want a truck to, to work, a truck to drive, a truck to, to take your hunting camp, pull your boat with, or whatever, golly bum folks, you can't beat this truck. I mean, it's a, why go pay $60,000 for a truck to do what this one will do? The depreciation's already out of this truck. You can drive it for three years and sell it for, for what we're going to sell it for. It's a great truck and you'll like it a lot. Get in it and drive it anywhere. Absolutely zero issues that we're aware of and we'll double check it some more before you get here to pick it up. A wonderful truck that you'll like a lot. Thanks for watching our videos. We appreciate that so much and bidding on our vehicles. We really appreciate our many hundreds of customers around the world and we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson. Thanks so much. Dan Dale here with Southern Remarketing. Uh, you've been listening to my dad talk about this truck. Now I'm going to take you on a little quick test drive, show you how it runs. Um, this truck cranks right up, hot or cold. It has no uh, cold start issues. And, you know, whether you buy from us or somebody else, always listen to a diesel truck run when it's cold because if it's going to act up, that's when it's going to act up. Uh, this truck had that same issue. It had, uh, when it was cold, it run like three liter dog. When it warmed up, it run like it is now. But So we went ahead, we had a the 6.0 Guru from the local Ford dealer does side work. We had him get into it and he fixed injectors. Um, so you can see it runs perfect now. He um, There's an update for the high pressure oil pump that the 06s and 7s have. These early ones didn't, makes it more reliable and all that went ahead fixed that so truck has absolutely no 6.0 issues uh, doesn't use antifreeze the coolant and oil temps are right where they should be you can see the truck shifts completely out just like it should I just hit the cruise you see the light come on the cruise is working and I'll turn it off now you may notice the engine lights on that's because it has one bad glow plug that uh, we didn't get around to fixing yet but before you pick it up that will be fixed there will be no engine light on in this truck uh, when you pick it up so just letting you know up front but uh, truck starts up runs great hot or cold uh, we can't find anything in it that doesn't work uh, you'll have to forgive my my shaky camera work here because it is 
not only is it about 30 degrees, it's about to start freezing rain, but I'm holding this camera in my hand with one hand and driving with another. So don't let the shaky camera work fool you. This truck rides great. I mean, it's got like a four or six inch lift on it, but it's not one of those that'll knock the feelings out of your teeth or anything. It rides real nice. Um, believe it or not, it does ride nice. Um, you can tell, not much tire noise either. These are Nitto tires. They're not some cheap off-brand junky tire. This is a high dollar set of tires on this truck. So not a lot of tire and road noise coming up from it. Um, this is a fresh stretch of interstate. They just put down temporarily, so it's even rougher than usual. But you can see I can let go of the wheel. It doesn't pull to one side or another. I can hit the brakes. No vibration in it. The steering wheel's straight. Doesn't pull when you hit the brakes. All that stuff's good on it. Horn works. Um, like I said, I can't find anything that doesn't work in it now. Well, I take that back. This overhead console doesn't work. It's got a little readout for your compass and fuel economy and stuff, and they never work. Um, now, what you can do is pop that out, and there's a guy on eBay that for thirty dollars you can send that to him, and he'll fix it and send it back to you. But uh, we don't usually hang on to our vehicles long enough to uh, make that a viable option. So it's easy for us to just say, "Hey, there it is." Has that one little issue, but. You can see it's got the sunglasses holder. You got a place you can mount your um, garage door opener. All that stuff. It does have shift on the fly four wheel drive. It's not a big manual lever you gotta yank on. You just twist the knob and you're in four wheel drive. Um, you can see, as soon as you hit the gas, this truck takes off. Now another issue you may find with 60 Fords, they have variable vane turbos and you'll hit the gas and you'll sit there and wait two or three seconds and then it'll feel like, you know, it just comes on all of a sudden and takes off. Well that's because your veins are sticking on your turbo and you're going to spend three or four hundred dollars have the turbo taken off and cleaned. But no issues with that here. It works fine just like it should. Uh, truck doesn't smoke. It's hard to tell in this rain. but. When you get on it, no smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Um, nothing like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Just a nice truck. Even the steering wheel's in good shape. It's not the leather's not torn or ripped or wore out or anything like that. Um, if you want to buy this truck and feel like flying in and driving at home, you can. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to get in it and go anywhere. We've we fixed all the things that act up on them and it's 100 percent ready to go so you know feel free and we we would rather you fly in and drive this truck home than ship it uh we we encourage people to do that you know uh graceland's only 200 miles north of here there's uh lots of places you can visit you can stop by one of our casinos spend a lot of money we need the tax dollars so try and get everybody to do that as well um but if you do want to ship it, you can. There's no problem. We'll work with your shipper uh, to get it picked up. Or if they, if you use DAS, which is who we encourage people to use, uh, we'll drop it off at their terminal here in Jackson at no extra charge. Or if you want to pay us and um, you know wait on a, uh, some vacation time or book the cheapest flight out, then we can. As long as we're paid, we can store this truck up to 60 days at no extra charge. Uh, we just ask that you go ahead and get, you know, insurance coverage on it, but uh, we'll be glad to store it for you. So, like I said, 60 days, no charge. Um, just an overall, a nice truck. Do have two keys to it. Now, I'm sure it has keyless entry. We don't have a remote to go with it, but I'm sure it's set up for it. You can buy the remotes on eBay for 25 bucks and... Um, program it yourself takes literally about 45 seconds but if you have any questions about this truck give me a call my number is 601-376-9869 or if you are um, interested in buying it want to make us an offer uh, give my dad a call his number is 601-218-1223 um, 
he answers his phone day or night. We just call him whenever. And I'm gonna run down here to the office and get out and show you real quick that this truck has no blow by. And by that, it means no smoke coming out of the oil fill in the engine. Now, you know, it's okay to have some smoke uh, as long as it's a steady stream of smoke and not puffing. That's, uh, that's okay, but this truck doesn't even have that. It has absolutely no smoke and absolutely no uh, pressure in the crankcase, no blow by. Hang on just a second and I'll show it to you. All right, just to show you real quick, you can see absolutely no blow by, no smoke. I can set the cap down, it's not under pressure. If you can't set the cap down like this and not have it blow off, then that means your piston rings are worn out, you need a new engine. But as you can see, none of that here. Uh, absolutely no blow by. Good set of interstate batteries. Now if I'm not mistaken, got this extra hot wire, that's for the uh, supplemental rapid heat, which gets you uh, heat into the cab with an electric um, element so you don't have to wait on the engine to warm up. Now I think that's what that is. But uh, anyway, just a nice truck. If you have any questions, give us a call. Look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thanks.